world is a descent, guys. It may seem fun sometimes and whatever, but the world is always a descending thing. I, I like how Paul says to Timothy, actually, you name several people in the, in the book of 2 Timothy. So, several people, he points out, this one's left me. That one's doing his own thing. God's going to judge this one according to his works. And he's not like we are today. He's like, okay, I've had enough of Alexander the coppersmith. Hymenaeus and Philetus, I'm done with them. Are you here? <laughs> and if you read some of these things, you'll find out the reason why is because they were hurting people's faith. But then he comes to this one guy, he says, Demas. Demas has forsaken me because he loves the world. I mean, Demas was one of his closest associates, but there came a time, even after a long association with Paul, where he went back into the world. See, he was ascending... But it's so easy if you're not careful to turn back into descend and not even realize that you're doing. When you're coming up to the house of God, you're on an upswing. You're on an incline. You got to come up higher to think like this. Just throw in an amen once in a while. Help me out. Demas forsook the kingdom, went back into the world. I was thinking, okay, you know, God doesn't write people names down and things for nothing. So I always like to look up deeper meanings. I like to see the, the deeper layers of the Bible. And just looking at the word Demas, this is what it means. It's the word for Dem Demeter, which was a, uh, a pagan goddess. Goddess of the earth. Goddess of fertility. God of agrarian magic. Check this out. This is the goddess where you get the term nightmare from. And I'm thinking... Demas probably didn't think of any of that. You know, he'd been named, he, was, he, he lived in the Roman culture of his day. He'd been named before he was a Christian or anything, according to their gods and their ways of thinking, everything like that. He probably never thought that he needed to be careful that he didn't fulfill his worldly calling at the expense of his divine calling. He lived up to his name. How sad is that? We need to live up to Jesus' name. 